Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and today I have some uh, spicy recs to share with you because I've just read a book about a camp boy. I was super hot and I just needed to talk about it. I chose books that are a bit more sexy than your usual romance but they are not erotical. They may be a bit more kinky or maybe a bit more hardcore. It's just that the smut brings them apart from the rest of the books. The first book I want to recommend is actually the only one that doesn't have that much explicit scenes, but I really, really feel like it's one of the sexiest books I've read and it's Top Secret by Serena Bowen and Al Kennedy. The reason why I think this book is so hot is because the main characters spend a lot of the book sex thing. It's kind of a foreplay the whole bit. I'm someone who enjoys more a scenes about this thing than a scenes about actual sex scenes because I just like the ounce of having to wait for it. I've talked about this book before, one of my favorites and it's between Kito who is supposed to be the straight jog really popular read They're in the same frat house and the other one is Luke. Luke comes from a very toxic family and a very poor one. His mom and his brother are always asking him for money and he works as a male entertainer. He's very sexy. They are going to start talking because Keaton's girlfriend wants to do a threesome for her birthday. So Keaton enters in this app and he starts talking with Sinner 3, which is Luke. They live in rooms next to each other but they don't know that they are sexting each other and it's super sexy, it's super hot. There is no cheating in this book, you'll see why, but it's just a book that I think is very hot without being explicit. So if you like that kind of ants, I really recommend this one. And the other four I want to talk about actually have more as smart. They are not like this kind of teasing. They actually have a lot of success things. The first one is the reason why I'm doing this video is reading read is between Carter who is a camp boy and he is really popular, really good at what he does. He's super confident and this guy he doesn't know but has a super cute profile photo uh, DMs him to do a collab. And he says yes. And he doesn't even know why he says yes because Reed hasn't done anything of this before. He's a complete new hadn't even been with a man before. So Carter is like, okay, let's not freak out. We can use this kind of shyness and innocent vibe this guy has and we will send my subscribers the vibe of a straight guy trying to be curious about gay sex. They start doing things slowly and they are going to become friends and they are going to be real into each other. But Reed has a lot of things going on in his life. That's why he's doing this. He truly needs the money. It's not something he enjoys. Whereas Carter is doing this because he generally loves being a cowboy. And it's a very sweet book, but also a very hot one. I do have characters are very lovely. I didn't think it was something completely new but it was this kind of book that is like very chill to read and relax and just so lovely. Then I have one book where the romance didn't work for me at all but the smut is one of the best I've ever read. It's hide and hopeless and you can probably imagine from the title there are going to be a lot of drugs involved. It's one of the reasons why the romance didn't quite work for me because it's very difficult for me to differentiate all the problems and addition brings while trying to enjoy the book. It just makes me really uncomfortable. So if you're not into that, please just don't try this book. But if you don't mind that, this book is super hot. You have Liam, who is your typical alpha boy straight and Teddy who is like very sunshine sweet I will self-destructive at times he has this huge crush on Liam he wants to stop being in love with Liam because it's kind of stupid because Liam is straight and he's his best friend so he tries to put some kind of a space between them but Liam the more he sees that Teddy is trying to put them apart, wants to be closer to him and they start doing things and I really like it that Liam didn't want to overthink anything whereas Teddy was being super antsy because he 
kept thinking that it was an unrequited love because Liang was a straight, even though they were doing a lot of things that straight males do not do. It wasn't really into their dynamics. As a couple, I was really into those dynamics on the smart. Do you want to read a bit more kinky hardcore sets? This book is really good for that without being super aware at all. Then I have an author which is Neve Wilder. She's well known from doing erotica romances, so romances that have more smut than usual. Her most well-known book is Wend Me. This book was first released in chapters, so I think the pace in the book doesn't work quite well. I'm someone who will have preferred less smut and more romance. I think that she'll have deleted so many chapters of sex scenes, but since this video is actually about spicy books, I think it's perfect. The book is about two flatmates that are in college and one of them enters a room where the other is jerking off by mistake. He decided he's kind of curious about that, he find it hot, so they decided to experience with each other, which is a typical bro for erotic romance, but it really works. If you want a book by her that has a bit less sex scenes, but actually has a more structured plot and better pacing, I would recommend Bad you. It starts with Corey parks his car on Spencer's spot and this is not the first time that Spencer comes from work and he doesn't have his spot to put his car. He starts screaming at Corey, he's super angry, Corey is super confused because he's like what the hell did I do to this guy? There is no way he's that angry just for a parking spot but he is angry because of that and Corey thinks he, Spencer is super hot, he's like oh my god I want this guy on my bed so he kind of challenged himself I want to make this guy fall for me and when he tells his friends they are like there is no way so they make a bet which i mean i think it's a trope that is really overdone i don't really like it i think this time worked because cory was already into spencer he wanted to show spencer that they could do really good things together because he was really attracted to him and not because his friends dare him to do it. That was just an extra thing. And I also really like it how they use that problem in the end because it was just so much fun. The last one, I've just finished rereading it this morning and I couldn't help myself when I started reading the second one. It's a very popular one, it's called Hidden Rivalry. If you are into gay romances, especially sport romances, you have probably heard about this one. Doesn't really work for me both times. This second time it was better because they start in the first chapter already having sex and I explained it before. I prefer the teasing. I prefer if they wait until the 30% or something like that or at least they start slower. But if you don't mind that, if you just want to read a smart this bag is just perfect for that. It has really good characters. They feel completely different. I've read another book by the author and also managed to make really realistic people. They just feel human. Sometimes authors know how to do one type of realistic characters and they reuse this kind of dynamics and characters in all their books. And this is not the case. I really appreciate. And also the ending, even though I think as a standalone it didn't work for me. Now that you have the second book that is a long game, that I hope it has a more hopeful ending that Hate the Rivalry has. I haven't finished it yet, but I have really high hopes. I think if you have read a lot of hockey romances, maybe you can appreciate it more because they usually follow the same structure and Hate the Rivalry just completely different. You are following Shane and Ilya and they are enemies and they hate each other but they're actually into each other. If you like this kind of enemies to lovers, that is not really an enemies to lovers because I'm sorry but they're actually attracted to each other and they actually like each other. So every time they're like I hate, I don't like, it's actually I love, I like. They just decided to be kind of enemies with benefits, so every time they go against each other, so they are in the same city, they are going to meet and have sex. But that's it, they are not going to be friends, they are not going to be anything else. And this goes on 
for six years or so until they start to show that they actually are catching feelings and that's a problem because they cannot stop playing hockey, they are not going to live together all the world thinks they hate each other so it would be like super weird to come out and say yeah that person I'm supposed to hate I've been fucking him for six years it's a different dynamic and I really want to see how it ends in the second book so that's it for the video I hope some of the regs sounded right down you only and you can leave me in the comments which is your favorite spicy book because sometimes you just need a bit more of hotness on your day. Thank you so much for watching. You can leave a like and subscribe. See you soon in another one.